Okay guys, welcome back. I'm waiting for a couple of guys and they haven't turned up so just gonna hit a couple of shots. Um Okay, so what were we working on the other day? We were working on tempo, weren't we? Very much working on tempo. So what helps the tempo, guys? Quiet body. If you can get the club to the top of the swing, here, and then just drop it with your body still closed like a free arm swing, let the club get to here, before there's any intervention with the body. Now that's contrary to popular teaching. In a conventional golf swing, I'll hit a conventional shot, I hate conventional golf swings now. Conventional shot, we go. Gee, that's a good shot. <laughs> I, can still, I can still hit a good sh shot with a conventional swing, but I wouldn't be able to hit it all the time. But see how how much I got through that shot and how my hips went early in the shot and how there's so much body in that. Now, you've only got to go a little bit early with the body and the shoulders and you're here. And you've got the El Drago, the Russian shot, the El Drago Ruski. So what I'm saying guys is to get good tempo, just get the club up here and just drop it down in front of the body and the body being facing this way, just drop it down here. Think that this is a big katana Japanese katana martial arts sword and there's a ribbon across here and we're going from here and we're just going to cut that ribbon here as a feeling on the downswing now that'll keep the body really quiet really quiet just quiet body <laughs> you know you know what's good whenever you talk about stuff like this clearly it rubs off on you it just rubs off on you what I'm trying to do there is is have nice tempo and I got nice tempo why because I'm thinking about nice tempo something else I'll, I'll talk about today guys which is a little bit of a, a backtrack and a bit of a <clears throat> attack change so to speak 30 minutes about the grip. Remember, JH. I tell you now, and like in 30 seconds, I won't remember it. You'll know when you get to my age. You'll know. Okay, so here we are. Really quiet body. Just going to take that club up and just drop it. Now, what I feel there, guys, is a club dropping there and my body's still closed. That's what it feels like. I've got none of this. I've got no drive off the. Uh, off the trail side, there's no drive off the foot. Try and keep the legs nice and oily and bent and just drop the club in front of you. There's a 160 sign out here. It's about a metre wide with, you know, 160 riding uh, on it. That's just hit the bottom part of the 6 in the 160. And that's into the wind. 160 metres, that's 172 yards. 21 yards. I remember the first time I met Mo Norman. I didn't ask him, but there were some guys there, and, you know, I wasn't that familiar with him at that time, but somebody, Mo was just hitting a couple of shots, warming up and and someone said Mo just aim at that um, that uh, that 120 sign out there that Mo was just with. and he never looked up the person he just said what well, part of the 120 sign like this what well, part of the 120 sign and someone said what well, part will aim at the two in the 120 and he never looked up and he said, what part of the two, the top or the bottom? 
And guys, he was serious. He hit the sign. Uh, he was just... He was just hitting a... You know, a wedge or a nine on. He just hit it straight out there and hit the sign. But that's how definite he thinks. Don't just aim at the sign. Uh, aim at a specific part of the sign. Okay, so I'm just going to drop this club in front of my body. Feel like it's just going there. Just hit the sign again. So it's crazy stuff, isn't it? You know, you can do stuff like that. You hit a sign like that two times in a row. If you had to do it for a, for a bet, you couldn't hit it in 30 shots. Um, and it's really hard when ripping across it. But I'm just hitting it so easy, so I'm not, I'm not that uh, target orientated. I know where I want to go, but I'm not trying to force the shot. So watch this guy. Really soft, soft legs. And that was a good shot, but and with my protocol, guys, I've got to um, I've got to have the five o'clock nose, and I didn't there. So I'm still working. I'm still not there. Okay, protocol, James. Come on. That was five o'clock nose. That nose was stuck to the dial of the clock. And that's only about two yards to the right of that sign. I'll hit a couple to the left of that sign. I don't want to turn around too much at other targets, guys, because it takes me out of front on. Now, what we saw the other day with Mr. X, and Mr. X is the perfect model. Mr. X is what I call a 90-degree model. Mr. X is this, and he goes like that. Like that. He's just perfect. I get a bit contorted and a bit buckled under, but that's me. He's the perfect model. The, the grip is still still a work in progress. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to tell you. So I told you I'd forget it. <clears throat> the other day I said grip pressure, scale of 1 to 10, an 8 or a 9 or even a 10. Well, I actually... Um, I really had some aches in some bones in my hands. Uh, I, I was doing some... What, what I call roll pressure exercises and guys I really overdid it and my hands were like they had arthritis in them uh, yesterday and I couldn't pressure at all I was just hanging on to the club and it was amazing I was just having on a scale of 110 it was like a 2 with the split grip now the reason I said 8 to 10 was because that's what Mo Norman did and that's what Lee Como does but you don't have to do that and really I don't have to do that I've gone back to about a 2 here because my hands were sore yesterday, so so there's options there, guys. You, you have you have leeway and latitude. I've only got about a two in it right now. Now that's that that there would be. Probably, not that it was a worse shot, it was about seven metres to the right of the sign. But that's, that's the, probably the worst shot you'll get in channel lock. It's just a straight push. Because I just didn't release that golf club. That came through with the blade open, but per, I mean, it still would have been you know, seven, eight metres from the flag. But I was aiming at the, the right in the centre of the green. But I just didn't release it. But that's that's the good thing about it. You don't. That's the worst shot you'll get, and it's not damaging at all. Okay, come on, release the club, James. There, you are. come on, hit the sign. Oh no, 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 no! Hit that ball a little bit higher because I hit that a bit harder, and it's very windy out there. And it just picked the ball up and just peeled it across the sign because you get get it up in the air, and the wind just it's kill city. 
Guys, I've got all sorts of trouble with the wrists and elbows and joints, and that's why I try and hit off the soft grass a lot of the time, because, you know, millions of repetitions over the year and martial arts training and stuff, and my joints are shot. And, and, and the ground is so he hard here that I don't want to be... Well, I don't hit the ground, but, but, but you know, I don't... Oh. So even that, that really comes up and into my shoulder. So I'm, and that's probably why I'm a sweeper most of the time. I've developed into a sweeper over the years. I mean, when I first started out, I was a sweeper, and I could hit one irons and um, two irons in those old blades in the old days, guys, the old Wilson Diner Powers. Now, people couldn't hit them. I could hit them over a 20-story building because I was a sweeper, and I used to hit up. So I've never been a gouger. Okay, come on, Jay. So this is a really loose grip. You know what's, you know, it's an amazing game. It's amazing, we are amazing. The discipline required to get the brain locked into something is extraordinary. While I was over that ball then, my wife has been, you know, quite ill last, well, last year, but yesterday, and she was really ill, and, you know, I was just thinking about something about her then, and I was over the ball. I mean, that's understandable, I suppose, but it just took away that little bit of, and as I came down, I had nothing. I had no thoughts, and I'm a person that has to have thoughts. So, you know, that was about a third groover. Still went dead straight, but it wasn't the impact I wanted, because I wasn't committed. But I'm thinking about my poor old wife. Okay, come on, James. Full protocol. That's for you, darling. I'm thinking about you. Wow, that's what I should do, is think about my, my dear old wife. And, uh, and here I am out here practicing and you know, doing lessons and stuff, and she's, she's going through all these trials and tribulations with the illness that she has. Guys, I've got to be honest, and I don't want to give you my life story, but I have to get out here on days to clear my head. If I don't clear my head, I go nuts. I just get so overwhelmed with it. And that's why I can't get to the States at the moment, guys. I just can't leave my wife. Um, yeah. That's a little bit of background, guys. But... Okay, come on. This is for you, darling. Soft grip. Just a beautiful shot. That's like a... That's... That's representative of my beautiful wife. I'm not the greatest human being in the world, but she is. She's absolutely the best human being in the world. So that was her shot. Okay, come on, come on. Just soft grip, just let it fall. Okay, so the, the things today, guys. We, we have the option of having the grip a bit lighter. But we want to have the club just falling in front of our body here. Just let it fall there. We don't want to be going oh, with the body coming down as we do in a conventional swing. Now I haven't, I've done probably a half a dozen conventional swings since, since I started channel lock. And that one there was probably about, oh that's probably exaggeration, I've probably done you know, a lot more than that, 20 or 30, maybe 50, because I you know, have to teach other people conventional swings. But that swing, I hate the feel of conventional swing. And you know why? Because of this. Because of all this, because the front ball position and, and the mobility of the body. Now my buddy Adrian over there would see that shot there and he'd say, why wouldn't you use a conventional swing? Because that's a bullet. But it feels horrible. And I know that because there's so much going on in that swing that I'm never going to control all those moving parts and that thrusting sideways and all that. I'm just not going to control that. Whereas with channel lock, all I do is just take it up and let it fall. Like that. Now put a bit more five o'clock nose in that, JH, and it's there. 
Okay, just a couple more. Yeah, so guys, that's it. So just try and quiet the body, quieten the legs. I've got out of the soggy knees lately. I'll go back to soggy knees here. There's the soggy knees. You know, guys, whenever I do that, I just nut it. I get out of it. Every, I'm, you know, I'm no, I'm no great uh, model of consistency. I just forget it. But when I have that lead knee soggy, I hit the ball beautifully. Like that. Look at this, guys. Look at this finish here. Look. That's what I feel. So that's one of the really big important parts of the protocol is the soggy front knee. That's just exquisite. And long. Whew, there's that long. Good five on you guys. No, it's not the six on. It's going like a five on. Soggy knees. Ball doesn't move, guys. Doesn't move. Okay, one more shot. This is for my wife. I'm out here, sweetheart, but I'm thinking of you. And she says, don't stay home here worrying about me. You go out and do what you've got to do. Okay, watch this, guys. That's for you, darling. Wow. Four iron just and six iron. Okay, guys, so that's just a couple of little points, but so we just want to have a quiet body and just drop the club. And we can have options in the grip. Just back the pressure out. I only did it because my hands were sore yesterday, but it's just perfect. Because even if you have a really soft grip going back, coming down instinctively, neurologically, unconsciously, you will grab it to control the speed and the velocity. So you can have a really soft grip. No, Norman didn't, and I normally don't. Uh, but uh, yesterday, because of the, um, because of the, um, I notice on the videos sometimes with these shirts, I look like I've got a, like I'm fat. I'm not fat. Someone said the other day, Jay, you put on weight. I haven't put on weight. It's just these shirts, they hang out like that. It's all the shirt. Guys, I'm eight kilos lighter than I was. 10 years ago but I've lost all the muscle I've lost 8 kilograms of muscle what did Gary Player say he used to try and get used to try and get a couple of pounds lighter every year as he got older bit of an exaggerator our old Gary ok guys that's um, yeah that's it so quiet body just let the arms drop and get the soggy knees and really 5 o'clock nose ok